Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I have a completely white box with some colors down at the bottom, and that's because it is the Pixel C, the tablet that is made completely by Google, made and designed 100% by them. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, give some first impressions. I also will get the keyboard soon, so I'm gonna make a separate video on that as well, so stay tuned for that Pixel C keyboard video. But let's go ahead and open this guy up. So the Pixel C has a 10.2 inch display, which is a little bit larger than their last tablet, which was nine inches. To give you an idea, I'm just gonna drop this guy on right away to show you a little form factor difference. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here is the Pixel C, it has some uh, wrapping on it. Let's go ahead and take that off really quick. All right, very nice. Nice aluminum on the outside, it's a little cold. Um, has some feeling to it, but it looks very premium. I think it looks really good. You have that uh, coloring down at the bottom, which I believe just lit up. We'll talk about that in just a second. Set this to the side. I'm actually gonna start powering it on. So power buttons right up at the top here. Looks like you have volume buttons on the left side, which is kind of nice. I actually like that button placement, at least right away. Full review coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Gonna have to get some hands-on time, but it looks like it's not. I don't know if that, okay, there it goes. Power it on. Let's get started. Connect the charger, turn on Find Network, log in, or sign up, and then you have a bunch of get started guide right there. And this is it. Wow. Uh, very simplistic. All you have is a charging cable, which is not removable from the AC adapter, for those of you wondering, and it is USB Type-C as well. So it does not come with a plug that you can connect to a computer with standard uh, USB, I guess, the most widely used. And for those of you wondering, you'll see it's a five volt, three amp adapter. Now the Pixel C is completely booted up. As I said, a 10.2 inch display. It is 2560 by 1800 for those of you wondering, which is 308 pixels per inch. Um, I actually kind of want to talk about design real quick before we go into software of things. So you have an eight megapixel camera right on the front there. Let's go ahead and flip it over. And on the back, this is actually letting you know the battery percentage. I believe you could double tap on it and it will show you your battery percentage. When this display is on, I believe it should light up. So um, when the display is on, it's going to show those chrome colors up at the top, those Google colors. But let's go ahead and, I'm sorry, on the back is the eight megapixel rear camera. This is a front two megapixel camera. So two megapixel, not that much. I'll talk about that in my full review. But anyways, on the left side here is where your USB type C charging slot is. You have some speakers on the left. And like I said, your volume rockers as well. Up the top is the one power button along with four microphones. So if you're far away, uh, you can use OK Google and do some commands on the left side, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and another speaker. So you do have stereo speakers on the left and right side, which hopefully are really good. Uh, down at the bottom, absolutely nothing. And that's pretty much it. So honestly, no branding at all. I would have thought I would have saw Pixel C or something like that on there, but it gives it a really sleek aluminum look to it. Obviously, this uh, little colors kind of indicates that it is a pixel, but absolutely no branding. It is completely Google, as I said. Something I noticed right away is you need a Wi-Fi connection to use this tablet, at least to get through the setup screen. So you see, I cannot skip. If I go back, my only option is to choose language. I can't swipe down. So you absolutely need to connect to a Wi-Fi network when you are running through this setup. You can use it without a Wi-Fi network once you get past the setup. Okay, completely booted up. First thing I'm noticing is these soft buttons are in different places than they are on any other tablet or phone. So you'll see the left is the back and home button, which is nice, and then the right is that recent apps button. Now let's go ahead and try it in uh, portrait mode, and you do have those buttons in that same place. So that's really nice addition, and of course the launcher can rotate. Something I kind of noticed while running through the setup and typing in my Wi-Fi password is that it kind of skipped some touches on the display like it just did there when I opened Chrome. So I'm gonna type, this is a test. This is a, it missed that T. So I definitely pressed that T and it skipped it. And I'm not sure why, if that's an issue, I'm gonna look into it. I'll talk about it more in my full review or I'll update you on Twitter and social media. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the settings, scroll all the way down, go to about tablet, and here it is, Android 6.0.1, so the latest version of Android, which is Marshmallow, of course. I'm gonna go back. One thing that's interesting is that with Marshmallow includes fingerprint support, so I'm surprised they didn't include a fingerprint scanner to unlock the device or something like that. Let's go ahead and open up the camera for the first time to give you an idea. So it's gonna, it took a little bit longer, but of course this being the first time, I'm gonna deny this. I'm not gonna tag photos and locations, hit next. 
And there we go. So it finally loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick picture. I'm not someone that really takes pictures on tablets. I don't know if you are or not, but I'm, I'd much rather pull out my phone as opposed to pulling out a big clunky tablet to snap a picture. But this actually doesn't look bad. So let me go ahead and uh, try and zoom in. Not anything great by any means, but uh, nothing too terrible. So if you're trying to get a quick picture, I wouldn't uh, actually use this. Like I said, I would use a higher end, uh, a higher end phone if I'm gonna take a picture, but you'll see standard uh, app when it comes to taking pictures with lens blur, panorama, photosphere, and video. If we wanna press these three buttons, you can flip it to the front facing two megapixel camera, which I'm not expecting much from. Of course, this lighting is terrible, snapped a quick picture. Um, more about both the cameras to come in my full review. Also, real quick, I'm gonna back out of the camera app and go back into it just to see how fast it actually does load. So that's much better. That was just because it was the first time it loaded. But anyways, that's about everything I wanted to show off on the Pixel C tablet. When it comes to hardware, it is great. I really like the feel in the hand. I really like the design and the look of it. Fantastic. Uh, when it comes to that touch input, lots more to come on that, so make sure you're subscribed. More videos to come. Uh, also, running Android, of course. We'll see how well I really like it on this 10-inch tablet with Marshmallow. Hopefully an update can come soon as well. Add maybe more multi-window support and other tablet features. Of course, the tablet feature being back home and recent apps changing. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description video below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.